I don't know if you paid attention to this at all, but Elizabeth Warren recently made some comments in an interview where they asked her, do you think that Joe Biden will run with Kamala Harris again in 2024, assuming he runs for reelection? And Elizabeth Warren gave kind of like a wishy-washy answer. She's like, well, I, I don't know. You know, if that's what he wants, that's what he wants. Um, mm -hmm. But I I'm not really plugged into the situation. I'm not sure if you saw those comments, um, but a lot of people interpreted it as Elizabeth Warren kind of saying that she didn't have a lot of confidence in the job Kamala Harris was doing as vice president, almost kind of implying that maybe Joe Biden should reconsider his running mate if he runs for re-election, given Kamala Harris's historic disapproval ratings. And this has caused Kamala Harris uh, to kind of uh, a little bit of a beef to emerge. Elizabeth Warren has apparently called Kamala twice to apologize after these comments. Um, and Harris hasn't called back. Um, <laughs> so a little bit of a beef brewing there between two uh, prominent figures in the Democratic Party. This is my first time hearing about this, to be honest. I, I, so I can't speak to Liz Warren's comments or, or whether or not this uh, apology is warranted. I can say that uh or dare i say warranted but um i can say that like liz warren every now and again will like tell the truth and i feel like it's by accident and then she'll backpedal immediately unless it's a straight up lie then she really sticks to it like that's just her way of doing things like bernie told me a woman can't be president did that actually happen, though? Everyone thinks that didn't happen. No, 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 it happened. Here's this totally not planned hot mic moment that totally wasn't planned at all. It for sure happened. She really stuck by that. But when they asked her, hey, was the 2016 primary not very fair? She said, yes, and then immediately backed off of that. Like, no, I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. So maybe this is another one of those situations yeah, where it's like, hey, Kamala Harris isn't so great. Do you really mean that? No, no, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Were you really the first woman that graduated from uh, woman of color that graduated from Harvard Law School? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Right. Let's take a thousand selfies now. <laughs> anyway, here's the actual original comments that Liz Warren made uh, pretty innocuous stuff. I think it's super petty of Kamala to be taking it so personally, but let's take a look here. Term that vice presidency becomes even more important. Could Kamala Harris be the, his choice the second time around? You know, I, I really want to defer to what makes Biden comfortable on his team. I've known Kamala for a long time. I like Kamala. I <laughs> He was the attorney general, and I was still uh, uh, teaching, and we worked on the housing crisis together. So we go way back, but they need, they have to be a team, and my sense is they are. I don't mean that by suggesting I think there are any problems. I think they are. <laughs> wow, that's, that was so awkward and funny. <laughs> What the hell? It's, it's like she wants to say, like, yeah, I have no idea. You probably shouldn't. But, but instead, she's just like, you know, I'm going to defer. But but here's like here's my life story history with Kabbalah. And here's a compliment. I, I'm guessing they're a team. I have no reason to imply otherwise, even though I'm deferring. <laughs> Yeah, it's crazy because she couldn't have she couldn't have been more clear about how she wanted him to pick a different vice president. Also, perhaps maybe she doesn't want to imply it, but maybe she fancies herself the better choice for uh, VP. I think that's maybe. definitely part of the context there, right? Like, oh, hey, now you need a different woman to be the for somebody that's a little sharper, somebody that's a little crisper. You know, I. Uh, of course, you know, it's like it's like bless her heart. Right. I love comma. And just like, well, we all know what that means. It's like the fuck this lady. Uh, mm -hmm. I want her out of there. And it, it, it was just so funny because she's going out of her way to like not say it. She really just gave the entire game away. Yeah, that was hilarious. That whole clip's really funny. I would say that was the most awkward thing she's ever done, but I don't think it is. I, I think the most awkward thing is still that commercial with her husband. I'll go get me a beer. I think I'll have me a beer. <laughs> she's like, she's like, thanks for being here. Like, if I ever just randomly showed up at home and my wife was just awkwardly holding a beer and then said, thank you for being here, I would like that. I'm like, what are you planning? Am I going to be okay? What's happening here? Like, it was like the <laughs> most awkward. Even Donald Trump roasted that thing. Like, like, when she dropped it, even Donald Trump was like, what 
is this? Like, oh, that was that was amazing. Commercial ever. Yeah, that was that was so obviously staged. Um, that's why I love campaign season. You get so many glimpses of just straight up awkwardness like that. Uh, all these candidates trying to pander to the normal working America. Oh, of course I drink beer. I'm just like you. <laughs> yeah, we get it. Anyway, uh, this article goes on to talk a little bit about how Harris is, has described Elizabeth Warren's comments as pretty insulting. Um, and several people close to Warren said the senator was calling to explain her statement as purely a mistake, a fumbling, unintentional attempt to avoid stepping on a campaign <laughs> announcement from the president. A spokesperson for Warren pointed to the statement the senator issues hours after the original interview, clarifying what she said. And an additional person close to Warren cited a personal and political relationship that goes back to being the first senator to endorse Harris for Senate and said of her support, she doesn't mean to imply otherwise so you know warren slipped up like you said ron kind of sort of said something that was accidentally true and then immediately afterwards starts groveling begging for forgiveness oh i'm so so sorry vice president harris please forgive me for saying something that really wasn't even offensive at all um but just because it wasn't like i love kamala and of course she should be vice president it was interpreted as such well, I think because she kept like going on and on and made it super awkward that like didn't help. the. Like, honestly, if she just would have said if they would have asked that question and her response would have been sort of like their disclaimer here, if she would have just said, hey, it's up to them to make the official campaign announcement. I don't want to weigh in on that one way or another. It's not my place. I'm not going to step on any toes. So I'll wait and see like everyone else. I don't think anyone would have made a big deal about that. She's just being like, uh, she's just following protocol, you know? So so I, I think it's the fact that she was just like, well, I mean, I, I, I like Kamala, I swear. Like, we're definitely friends. We're, we're not not friends. Like, we, I mean, I've texted her before. She's texted me back. And, and I supported her for this, 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 and this. So, yeah, I, I think it's like, I think it's like by saying so much. By saying so much and simultaneously saying nothing. That was what drew some red flags. <laughs> 